That's a kid for the first time when I went down there and did that AEW dog collar match with him and Brody, Brody Lee. Yeah. Who passed away. Yeah, he was a kid was very nice and I'd never met him before. I would, you know, I wouldn't, if I would have been Cody, I would have never done that because he helped start that AEW out. I would have never done that to go, you know, WWE, you know, to, to go to WWE. I just don't understand it. I don't understand it. But maybe there's a reason that I don't see, you know. But good luck to the guy. He's a nice guy. Cody's a good worker, so I just don't understand that move. Knowing Dusty for so many years, you think he's looking down, thinking that, uh, you know. I don't like, I don't think Dusty enjoyed being in WWF. And when they made him wear those polka dots and stuff, I couldn't believe Dusty went for it. I mean, why would you want to go up there? I mean, no, you wanted to go in New York, and I used to fly him in from Florida, and, and he'd wrestle on those shows that Vince would bring him in for, and then all of a sudden he gets a chance to come into WWF, and Vince has him put these polka dots on, and he's got a little short lady taking him out. I mean, how? nothing against her, Sapphire, the whole thing to me is like, it's a mockery on Dusty. You mm -hmm. know what? It was like Vince slapping Dusty in the face. If I had Dusty, I would have never done that. No matter how hard or bad you want to get on the WWF, I would have never done that. That's bullshit. And Vince, you know, that's just his ego. He wanted to, I don't know why he wanted to do that. He wanted to make... Dusty looked like a piece of shit. I think Dusty overcame it, but I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. Was that the general consensus? It's to humiliate him a little bit? You know, I, exactly. They wanted to humiliate him. But I, I think he made it work. He just swallowed his pride and did it. But you know what? Dusty was a great worker. He was a you know, he was fat and everything like that, but it didn't matter because he knew how to work. He had great charisma on that microphone. He drew a lot of money in Florida. He ended up drawing a lot of money in WCW. I think, I, and the Carolinas, I think it's a crock of shit. And I, I was disappointed that he went for it, but he did it. Yeah. And he made, he made the best of it, so. In a way, I'm saying to myself, the ego that Dusty, because he had a big ego, and he knew he was good, and he knew he might have been fat and all this, but he knew how to work, and he had great interviews. He knew he was good. And for him to take a step down like that, I, I just didn't understand it. I guess he really wanted to be in WWF bad. <laughs> he didn't need that. No. He never even needed to go to any. They used to fly him in in New York when he was so big in Florida. And the Florida TV would come in in New York. And he'd come in and work with Billy Graham or whoever was a top dog. And that was great. He didn't need to, need to do what he did. But in a long, I guess, he ended up making it work. And when he went back to uh, WCW, it was all forgotten. Oh my God.